everyone welcome what is happening i'm your host jade welcome back to another video on my channel get your popcorn out get your sodas out we're gonna get spooked with another urban legend when i think of chile i think of a rich culture and amazing landscape and incredible food and tourist in me but i don't think about the witches and monsters and ghosts i guess i should right after this video, you guys, well, remember to like and subscribe and make sure to check out as well as the content you guys know and love. This is the top 10 scary chili urban life, starting off this list with number 10, The Righteous Province. This seemingly sounds a lot nice than it does. It is the name of an all-male cult of witches in Chiloé, in Brujos, of the name of a have lived on these islands since the 80s the males who want to join the cult have to go through a very intense initiation process with the devil killing a loved one and using their skin as a purse a book of spells and and washing f fastest for 40 days until they t turn into enemy animaling the cave is guarded by creatures called in buche and buche is if they called mutilated him when he was 14 years old and his head can fold 180 degrees the kind of spells the cult partakes in but i'm in no mood whatsoever number nine el culebran if you if, if you guys have seen the movie anaconda times 300 and that's exactly what it looks like this creature is a massive hairy snake that has. It lives in the countryside of Chile and it comes out and it eats anything that moves, as well as whatever it encounters. So clearly, the monster has expensive taste. It was domesticated with a lot of wealth because of it. You have to, one, find one in the wild, two, Three longest hairs, and then put them in milk. Three new snakes will be born, and the strongest will leave the other two. To keep the less, the owner would have to continually sacrifice its own relatives and animals to eat, and the owner will get no new wealth. Either that, or the thing kills you first. You decide. Number eight, Loud Nanor. It is a ghost town in the Samahama Desert. Back in the day, the town was a mining village. Producing salt for for sir, the industry declined, the work decreased, and the town became vacant because of this, which contributed in working conditions. There was a lot of deaths in the city. That the, a lot of looting is its cemetery. Coffins lie there exposed, people's remains, human bones scattered everywhere. Even coffins, even mine shafts. That all the souls buried in the cemetery keep getting disturbed. What do they do? After sunset, the dead rise from the grave and go into town. Have seen They've seen many adrenaline junkies staying in the town of an undecided scene. Full body apparitions, screams, and footsteps, even though the area is clear clearly deserted. Not what I'm gonna do when I go to Chile. Number seven is Calchona. Cal this is a family that lived in the mountains, and their kids were a countryside family, but that was not the case because it never is. The mother was actually a witch, and she used to keep loads of potion creams at home that turned her into whatever she wanted. Un she just rubs it on every night. She used to sit to eat her children and husband, by the way, which I feel like that's a crime. And turn and turn by the morning, she'd come back, turn back into a human, and went to sleep. And no one suspected a thing. One day, she forgot to sedate her children, and waking in the middle of the night, and seeing their mom covering herself and, and turning into a sheep. Like children, they're copy her. Unable to change back into humans, they started crying, which woke up their dad. He figured out what was going on, and somehow, no way, no idea how, he, he turned his children back 
to humans, but then he just said, what on earth? He left the house and threw away all his wife's creams. When the wife came back and discovered she had been, she managed to just have a bit of cream for her face, but the red of her body, a black sheep. When farmers hear her bleeding, they put out food, food for her. So she chooses a witch. Number six. Palapan or the Guayapan. When I think the two silent, it, it could be Gallapan, but I could be wrong. These are, imagine this creature, shook. I feel like someone could seem like, as a live creature, is that possible? This creature it, is that what haunts the rivers and lakes of Chile. It has the head of a baby and the body of a sheep. Its feet are twisted backwards, and the back of its body looks like a seal. The creature looks looks like it's like if a pregnant woman's going, then her child will be born with twisted and deformed legs and a muzzle. And if you set a shy and instead of you and it's aquatic after and becomes very vicious. Um Number five, Puenchen. This is the second snake-like creature on this list, but this creature lives in the southern part of Chile and is a shapeshifter. In any shape or form it desires, it is described as a huge flying snake, which makes it very shaking, eerie, whistling sound. As I'm describing you now, imagine how it looks into existence, but it keeps turning out like a Pokemon in my head. If any unlucky bison actually on contact with it, it's, it will paralyze, takes their victims, sucks their blood dry. People, is the, it, the only people said to be get rid of it, which is on Puji medicine women, which are traditional healer or leaders, and are found in Argentina. Basically, this thing, part-time snake, full-time vampire shapeshifter. Good to know. Number four, Traco. Traco. Now the Traco is a humanist creature that is as small as a goblin, and it is apparently extremely ugly. It has no feet and carries around a hatchet. Which makes me question how it walks or gets around. People say it has a first landowner. The Traco lives in and has middle-aged women. But when he's chosen a woman, there is no escaping him. Eva sleeps, she'll still wake up and find him. That if a woman finds herself chosen, then she will sleep him no matter what. And then she becomes pregnant and the father's nowhere to be found. But he does not just, even men are scared of him. He doesn't even just target women. Then his gaze can almost as deadly. If they die, frozen, but I would not take that chance. Number three, El Coco. I would be able to be, if I went to Chile, I'd be, be able to walk, I'd be afraid to walk the streets. It's what he does that scares people. Paris just used to sing about him to scare their children with stories of him so they would listen more. All rooted and fairly compared to the devil. All opposite of an angel. He's a child. He roams the streets at night, looking for naughty children to kidnap, and he 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 stays perched on roof, watching the streets, waiting for kids. He eats and eats them immediately. He he tosses them into his bed and slices them up at home and drinks their blood, and he takes them away. Do not worry. The only target for disobedient children. Nothing to worry about. Why is this really, really, why is this reminding me of a twisted version of Santa's naughty or nice list? Oh my god, number two. Oh, Cuero. Now this could be found in Lake Blackheart, but let's first how this thing looks because it's horrific in itself. El Cuero means leather or hide, and it has a giant stingray as a cowhide to dry. It has two to five feet wide, six to five, and has fins as well as whip-like tail. Its eyes located on stalks, like every slightly villain, unhinged and extend when devouring prey. 
People have reported seeing razor sharp claws attach the fringes of the creature. Health secures its victims. It calls out the aquatic tiger and it overwhelms its prey and then uses its nose to punch at the victim, suck out their blood, and. and its internal organs. One woman said she was watching close by the river and her baby was sleeping nearby. And it came out and engulfed the baby within seconds. Who knew? Who could this much do? Number one, we have La Fiora. Hopefully, I said that. Whose truck's wife and daughter simultaneously don't ask. And for bigger use, newsflash. Her name actually means very, very ugly. A hundred percent. She's described as a disgusting looking woman. She has a gigantic nose, long, long black. She has stems length and on command. She can all twist them in every direction. She can imagine what she looks like when she's in the mood for it. She She's always combing her hair. She's not very brave at all. Whenever she hears the slight sound, she changes her body into a bizarre positions and direction. I don't really know. No one really knows. And if you do, her eyes deform your own legs or hands. She has superhuman humans. Her breath is so bad, like her eyes, to break or twist of anyone or anything nearby. Her main hobby or pastime is casting spells on unsuspecting wood cart for which caused them to become super confused and disoriented. And then she forces the men to make love with her. That's all for today's video, guys. Which one freaked you out the most? Have you guys ever seen any of these urban legends? If you're from Chile, comment. Let me know in the comment section below. I'm your host, Jade, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! <sighs> um, so get ready for the Halloween special tomorrow, because I got a lot coming out.